chart of the day uh, says it all, right? You look at that, you're up 25% on Roblox. Bryn, I'll just let you take it away. Uh, obviously, better than expected uh, report. What's your takeaway here? It's always interesting how the market reacts. So, I mean, up 25% today, I actually think is a little bit much. What, what investors need to understand, this is not just a gaming company, it is a platform. And what you saw in their earnings today is their daily active users were at 58 million, which was up about 19%. Dave Bazuki said they saw a reacceleration in December and January. They continue to generate really strong revenue. And so this is what I was talking about earlier. They just got thrown out with to the thrown out to into the ocean with everyone else last year, but they continued to deliver on a very sticky platform. I will say that users over 13 years old continue to grow. And if you have small kids, what do they want? They want Robux. Mm -hmm. So I think this is a great platform, and so it's a good day to see. But I think up 25% is a little bit much for the earnings report they actually delivered. So on that notion, um, it's up 57% year to date. So does any part of you say, you know what, this is ridiculous and I'm out or at least trimming some of what I have? Because if I don't, I'm irresponsible as an investor because I, I don't think this can last. No, I mean, the stock was at, the stock was here in October. And so it, this is it's, it's seen this price before. I think I own it at around 70 and I've been selling calls against it. So what I'm more prone to do is after this big move, wait a couple of days, see if you get follow through or it comes back down. If I get a little follow through, I'm more inclined to sell calls about 20 percent out of the money because I am a long term investor here. Mm -hmm. So I, I, I see no reason to sell it here, nor do I see a reason right today to add to the position. So I'm more inclined to sell calls in three days from now to kind of capture some premium that I know is going to be in the name. Okay, I get it. Um, another big mover I, I had mentioned in the tease, guys, was Devin. Joe, you own Devin. Uh, earnings missed. They weren't about production. I've had multiple people suggest to me today this is way overdone. That move doesn't make any sense. Are you on that list, too? I think we're talking to the same people. I got the same phone calls this morning. Everyone believes it's way overdone. Um, listen, I've been around the commodities in the energy market long enough to know way overdone can extend itself for longer than you might think. So I'm, I'm not willing to sit here and say, yes, it's uh, certainly it was purchased last summer for the quality momentum strategy in the Joti ETF. That's when it went in, has not been a good trade. The momentum is clearly lost. And I'm not going to sit here and defend what right now doesn't look like a very good position. OK, I'm not going to take any action on it. Can't do that until the end of April. This is in the Joti and personal, right? Yes. But so you the, use one. One reflects the other. One You've been very one candid about that. One reflects the other. And you have to acknowledge that while everyone is leaning towards one side of the boat, so to speak, for energy, everyone's clearly overweight, myself included, there's been a little bit of a changing dynamic in commodities overall. It's impacting energy. And you have had this inability to reestablish any moment, momentum. I threw out the other day the China reopening. Maybe possibly that happens. I feel like it of, needs something of like that. many of the energy stocks. Devin, to me, feels like one of the most crowded areas in that space over the Without last 12 question. months, at least. Without question. It's one of the better names, one of the better balance sheets, one of the, the, the more diversified uh, product cr uh, com companies. Um, it's, it's, it's owned in hedge funds. Mm -hmm. It's owned by mutual it's funds. Owned by, it's owned by Bryn. Right, Bryn, what about this move today? Yeah, so I think we're a lot of this is very, very highly owned. I think you have a huge overreaction on they had a call today at, you know, 10 o'clock central and on the production. The production is really in the first quarter. They have like they're ramping up new wells. They had some infrastructure downtime and then their production is going to pick back up. So I was a little surprised we didn't see the stock trade a little bit higher. But it comes down to if you're going to buy these names for yield, when I look at the third quarter, it paid $1.35. With what they declared yesterday, you're going to have a dividend, a dividend of 89 cents. And so I think that's also when people own this volatile space, they want to earn 7, 8, 9 percent. And so I think people had to recalibrate to say, hey, is this stock only going to pay me five and a half, six percent for the year? And so that's why it's sold off. That being said, give it a couple days to settle off. I think this is actually going to be a really nice entry point to a, to a company that continues to execute. And by the way, last year, 
was the best year in the history of the company. And so I, these production issues are a first quarter issue.